Good day, I'm gonna show you this quick multiplication trick that uses doubling and halving. All right here, so our first problem will be seven times 18. And what you wanna to do to solve these mentally is, if you have one of these numbers that happens to be an even number, say like this number 18, okay, what you wanna do is you wanna divide this number by two. So now what we have is seven times nine. Okay, we know seven times nine equals 63. And since what we did is we took half of this number, okay, 18, we divide by two, we got our answer. Now to get the final answer for the original problem, we have to double this number. So we took half of it, we took half of one number here, we're gonna have to double this number. So 63 doubled, you could see is 126. Okay, so this is our answer, 126. So we're gonna go ahead and say seven times 18 equals 126. Now real quick, if you want to know how to double something uh, mentally, let's say I want to double this number, let's say I'm going to double the number 67, okay, I want to double this number, okay, so inside your head, this is inside your mind, okay, first we're going to double 6, okay, double of 6 is 12, so you're going to hold this number in your head, 12, okay, you're going to think this number 12, and then you're going to ask yourself, do I need to carry something over when I double this number 7? Okay, the answer is yes, because 7 doubled is 14. Okay, 14. So instead of writing this number down 12, we're going to write the next number up, 13. And then the 4 from this, uh, the 14 is 7. So it's kind of like this. If you have these numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, and you're going to double, you're going to double one of these numbers, that there's always going to be a carryover, okay, from any one of these numbers. Okay, the most you're going to carry over is just one, see? Uh, if you do this the old school way, okay, 67 times 2, okay, you're going to say 4, carry the 1, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 gives you 13. Okay, all I'm doing is instead of going from right to left, I'm doing this left to right and holding these numbers in my mind. See, I'm saying 6 doubled is, tw is 12, but do I need to carry one from the seven? Yes, I need to carry one over. So instead of writing 12, we write the next number up 13. Okay, let me show you another example of this doubling, and then we'll go through these problems. Okay, another example of doubling. Remember, um, you want to kind of hold these numbers inside your mind. Okay, this is the inside of your mind here. And that if any of the numbers end with one of these, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, you're just going to carry one, one digit over. Okay, so let's say we want to double the number 358. Okay, we want to double this number 358. Okay, 3 doubled is 6. So we hold that number in our mind, 6. Okay, but before we write the answer down, before we write it down, okay, let's put the answer, let's put the answer right here. Before we write this answer down, Okay, I'm going to ask myself, if I double this number 5, am I going to have it to carry over? Yes, if I double the number 5, I'm going to have to carry over. So instead of writing the number 6, we carry over that 1. Okay, remember, you're doing this mentally. So instead of writing, instead of writing 6, we carry over that 1. That means we have to write the next number up, 7. Okay, now inside your mind, you're going to say 5 doubled. 5 doubled is 10. Okay, remember, we already carried that 1 over. 5 doubled is 10. So instead, instead of writing a 0... At this point, instead of writing a zero here, you're going to ask yourself, when I double this eight, am I going to have to carry one over? Okay, the answer is yes, because eight doubled is 16. You see, that's going to carry one over. So instead of writing zero, we write the next number up, one. Okay, and then, then, then that six, it just kind of trails in here. So you can see 358 doubled times two, okay, equals 716. Okay, this is the idea of doubling, this carrying over mentally. Okay, you could do this mentally. Okay, you don't have to write this out. You don't have to write it out like 358 times 2. Okay, 2 times 8 is 16, carry a 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry a 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. See, I'm doing the exact same thing, but I'm doing it from left to right, and I'm doing it inside my head. Okay, mentally. Let me show you how this looks. Mentally. Okay, mentally. If I'm going to double a number, 4, 
six, three. Okay, four doubled is eight. Do I need to carry? Yes, I need to carry because of this number six. So four doubled is eight. I'm gonna write the next number up, that's nine. Okay, six doubled is 12. Do I need to carry? No, I don't need to carry, so I could write that two. Three doubled is six. So you could do this a lot faster mentally if you do it left to right, simply by holding numbers inside your mind as you go along and do the work. Okay, this is the idea of doing your mental arithmetic. Okay, the idea of holding a number in, inside your mind here. Okay, now that I showed you this kind of this idea of doubling, this is how we're going to solve these uh, problems that I posted earlier. So what I'm going to do now at this point is go ahead and erase and bring up these problems one at a time. And we're going to solve them by uh, taking half of a number and then doubling it. Okay, so it looks like we have this one here, 6 times 12. Okay, let's say in your mind you don't know what 6 times 12 is. Okay, what you could do is you could take half of 12. Half of 12 is 6. So we're going to say 6 times 6. 6 times 6 equals 36. Okay, since we took half of 12... Now we need to double that number to get the to get the answer. Okay, remember we're solving for six times six. We say that's thirty-six. Now I need to double it because I took half. Okay, I took half, so now I need to double it. Okay, three times two that's six. Do I need to carry one over? Yes, I do. So the answer is going to be seventy-two. Okay, so six times twelve equals seventy-two. Okay, this is how you do it in mentally, mental, mental arithmetic. I'm showing you, I'm writing it out kind of the long way, showing you, you know, showing you the arrows, showing you what's going on here. Okay, but when you're doing this stuff, the whole point of this is to do it mentally. Okay, to where you don't need to write anything out. So here, I'll, I'll race. Let's do another problem here. Um, see if we could do me mentally here. So let's try this one here, I think uh, 14 times 8. Okay, we know uh, 14 times 8, let's say, oh, I don't know what that is in my mind, but I know it's 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56, right? Okay, so this is the part you don't really have to write out. Okay, you're just taking half of 14, half of 14 is 7. Now 7 times 8 equals 56. Now I took half of that, now I need to double it to get the answer. So 5 doubled is 10. Am I going to carry one over from the 6? Yes. So our answer is 112. Okay, once again, 5 doubled. Remember, 5 doubled inside your mind. 5 doubled is 10. Okay, but before I write that 10 down for the answer, I ask myself, is there going to be a carryover from the 6 when I double it? Yes, because 6 doubled is 12. See, that 1's going to carry over. So here's we get our answer, 112. Okay, this is your mental arithmetic. Okay, what if I have something like this, 12 times 16? Okay, now I'm going to take uh, half twice and then double it twice. Okay, so half of 12 is 6 and half of 16 is 8. Okay, 6 times 8, what does that give me? That gives me 48. Okay, so I divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here. Okay, so that means I need to double it twice once twice okay so 48 doubled once 4 doubled is 8 okay remember you're doing this inside your mind here's the inside of your brain okay kind of looks like your brain 4 doubled 4 doubled gives you 8 okay but am I going to have a carryover from this 8 yes because 8 doubled is 16 see that one's going to carry over so 48 doubled is going to give us 96. Okay, now we doubled once. Now we need to double a second time. Okay, so inside of your brain, here's the inside. 96 doubled. 9 doubled is 18. Okay, but I'm going to am, ask yourself, am I going to have a carryover from the 6? Yes, because 6 doubled is 12. See that 1's going to carry over. So instead of writing 18, 9 doubled, instead of, 9 doubled is 18, but instead of writing 18, we write 19. And then 6 doubled is 12. And we already carried that one over, so we get 192. So we're going to go ahead and say 12 times 16 equals 192. Okay, remember, you're going to be doing a lot of this arithmetic inside your head. Instead of writing it all out, 
Okay, you don't have to write all this stuff out. You could easily easily identify 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, you don't have to write all this stuff out. A lot of this stuff, you're just going to be doing it mentally inside your mind. Just real quick, let me show you how I would do this problem inside my head. Okay, let me show you how I would do it. Without writing everything out, this is kind of the way my, my, head, my mind works. Okay, I'm just going to ask myself, 12 times 16. Okay, I could divide those by 2, uh, so that's going to be 6 times 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, now I'm going to double, 48. Double to 4, that gives me 8. Am I going to carry over from 8 double to 16? Yes. So instead of an 8, I write the next number up, 9. 8 double to 16. Okay, now I'm going to double again. 9 doubled is 18. Okay, am I going to have a carryover from the 6? Yes. So instead of writing 18, I write 19. And 6 double gives us 12. So that 2 there. So this is just kind of how I do it inside my head. See, it's real quick. When you know this trick, when you know how to apply it, when you know how, how to apply these multiplication tricks, your math goes a lot faster. Okay, let me show you again. I'll kind of show you the way I do it, and then I'll write it all out long, long hand for you so you can kind of see uh, the way my mind works when I'm doing these problems, and then I'll write it all out for you. Okay, so 18 times 12, I could half both of those. So that would be 9 times 6. 9 times 6 gives us 54. Okay, 54 doubled. 5 doubled is 10. Is there going to be carryover? No. So I could write 10. 4 doubled is 8. Okay, now I need to double 108. 1 doubled is 2. Is there going to be carryover from the 0? No. So I could write a 2. 0 doubled is 0. Is there going to be carryover from the 8? Yes. Okay, because 8 doubled is 16. So here's our answer, 216. See, this is kind of the fast, fast way you could do your multiplication. Now let me show you what I just did. Simply divide by 2, divide by 2. That's 9 times 6. 9 times 6 equals 54. Okay, since I uh, took half of it twice, it means I need to double it twice. Times 2 times 2. 54 times 2. You can see real quick that's 108. 108 times 2. Okay, 1 doubled is 2. Am I going to have a carryover? No. So I could write a 2. 0 doubled is 0. Am I going to have a carryover? Yes. So instead of writing 0, I'm going to write the next number up, which is 1. And then 8 doubled is 16. So there it is. 200, 216. Okay, just wanted to share this with you. It's kind of an interesting way to do your math. From the uh, this comes from Vedic math. Okay, the concept of doubling and halving. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these type of videos, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.